Ha ha ha! Hi everyone! Guess what? It is week number three. What? Well, hello to everybody who is new to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. My name is Melody and my channel name is Sleeved Mel 2015. Um, I'm gonna go over stats and then we'll talk about what's going on this week. So my highest weight was 245 when I was pregnant with my son. My pre-op diet weight was anywhere between 218 and 220, depending on how much I ate that day or if I was bloated. And then my surgery weight was 218. I mean, excuse me, I lost 10 pounds throughout the pre-op diet, the two week pre-op diet. And then my surgery weight was 208. So I was already close to 200, that's awesome. So as of today, my recorded weight as of this morning, guys, is, drum roll please, 194.4. A total of, I think last week I was 199, between the 197 and 199, so a total of five pounds almost. So I lost five pounds in a week. Uh, I've been doing really good. I started adding pure, not, uh, yeah, I like pureed and I can eat solids. I've eaten chicken as long as I chew it up well. I've eaten beef jerky. I've eaten many things that is satisfying to the taste buds. Uh, I did have a problem yesterday. I got really sick yesterday and I have not eaten in two days. And I don't know if I was carrying the stomach flu, but because my son today, his tummy's feeling a little upset and he's like kind of burping and Barton and all that wonderful stuff that stinks really bad. So I'm wondering if he caught what I had. Maybe I had the stomach flu. Maybe it wasn't because of my surgery or because, I don't know. It could also mean the reason why I've been feeling nauseous and sick. And it could also mean that you guys, I haven't pooped in over a week. I have not pooped. I have been drinking Miralax and milk of magnesia and um, I've taken tons of Tums, I've chewed on Tums and I, the last two days I've just been feeling nauseous and sick and I'm not sure if it is the stomach flu or it's just in coincidence because of what's going on. I know that my stomach's full and if it's not going out this, this way then I've got to have a full stomach and yeah, that could make you feel nauseous. So it makes complete sense. So I'm letting the Miralax work through. I'm taking sips all day throughout the day. It's hard to take sips because I feel nauseous after every sip, but I'm able to down it and hold it down. So I'm trying to get in a lot of water so I'm not dehydrated and I've kind of stepped back a little bit. I've had to just go on a liquid diet because my stomach's just not having it the last couple of days. So, what do you guys think? A new me, a new do. I love it. I went to a local uh, haircutting, a local salon here in town, and uh, she charged um, at a really great price. And she did an emo cut, is what I was looking for. And all I have to do is take an iron and just kind of flip it out when I do it, but there's lots of layers and she did a great job. I keep looking at myself because I love this new cut. As people say, it fits me very well. So I love it. So it's a new me, a new cut. So um, I'm so super excited. Goodbye 200s, goodbye. Mm -hmm. I will never see 200s again and good riddance. You guys, this journey has been amazing so far. My scars are healing up. My incisions are healing up. The rash is healing up. There's still like pigmented skin from the rash, but I hope it fades away. If not, I have to get something to kind of clean my stomach up because there it's it looks like it's bad sunburn on my stomach now, like patchy in different places. Uh, what have I had? I've had chicken. I've had tuna salad, I've had cream of tomato, I've had cream of broccoli, and I think that's what made me get sick. I don't know, because after I ate cream of broccoli, I was like, boom. I, I drink a lot of water, I drink a lot of crystal light. Um, every now and then, I'll still continue to bring in a my um, protein shake. I added PB2, which is peanut butter powder, this stuff is amazing. I added it to my shake and it tasted like 
peanut butter shake. I can never be happier because I love peanut butter and peanut butter shake was always my downfall. So I have it with almond milk and add a little bit of my protein, vanilla protein, and then add the PB2 powder and oh, the, it's thick in consistency so you have to play with it. So I add a little bit more almond milk to make sure it's thinned out a little bit because the consistency, I have to have it thin. So um, that's how I'm getting my proteins in. I'm eating a lot of stuff with proteins. Soups, um, there is this one soup. I think I've introduced it before, but I'm gonna say it again. It's uh, like a Chinese bowl uh, of shrimp and soup. And the shrimp you can sit there and chew on. It's made in wonton noodles. The shrimp is covered in wonton noodles in the soup and it's just the shrimp. There's no noodles, there's no nothing, just the wonton shrimp and juice. And oh, it's about this size and I can only eat half. So I can eat half for your lunch and then save it and then half for dinner. So really quick, I have some exciting news. Um, and bad news and exciting news. This last week we found out my son Elijah um, relapsed his cancer. So we are gonna to have to be at the hospital again. And the good thing about this is that I won't be eating the hospital food unless it's very small portions because this was my problem last time. My problem last time is I always ate out when we traveled and ate hospital foods that were just not good for you. And so this time, now that I'm sleeved, I know that I won't be gaining weight due to stress. I might be losing weight due to stress, who knows. Um, but in two weeks, we're gonna be going down for treatment, so you may see my updates at the hospital. Oh my gosh, this little thing is so cute. Updates at the hospital. Um, in the hospital room while Elijah's getting chemo, who knows. Um, the positive thing about this is, is that a couple months ago, they were doing Tough Enough auditions for a reality show called Tough Enough and uh, Elijah wanted to audition, so just for fun, I put it on YouTube, and somehow the owners of WWE, um, Triple H, and Stephanie McMahon got a hold of this video, and today Elijah was surprised by a Skype call from Triple H and Stephanie McMahon from WWE, personally invited him to Monday Night Raw, uh, which, which is August 3rd, so make sure you tune in on August 3rd on USA, it's a cable channel, so if most of you have cable, you can get it. It's on USA on August 3rd at 5 o'clock. It is live. And Elijah will be getting in the ring with his favorite superstar wrestler and signing a contract stating that um, he's an official WWE superstar. Amazing news. We're happy that this has happened. It's made my husband's dream come true, my son's dreams come true, Caden, my other son, We'll be able to meet John Cena, the one that goes, you can't see me. Um, this is going to be an amazing weekend. So um, I'll probably mention it one more time because I think I have one more Thursday before August 3rd. So um, make sure you guys tune in on USA on that day. And we will be on TV. Woo. They posted it on Facebook. They posted it on YouTube. Um, the conference call that we had on Skype. They posted it on um, Twitter and you guys can find it um, on YouTube if you go to WWE and you'll see uh, the interview or the conference call we had with Triple. On that note, I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I am so super excited. My journey is doing wonderful. It's doing amazing. I'm doing amazing except for the last two days. Ooh, I've been feeling quite sick. Other than that, I'm going to be doing a tag that Drea VSG has uh, me tagged and I think Tink tagged me, a couple people tagged me and um, I'm going to be doing it, it's like 10 things that you won't miss when, uh, when you lose weight or something like that. So that'll be my next tag and I'm also going to be making meals in the middle of the week so I'm not going to be here just once a week, I am going to be making small meals and give you guys ideas that I think are gonna be delicious once you get past that pureed, pureed stage. So look out for those videos. It'll I'll be here more than once a week, upcoming soon, I can't wait. I'm gonna be pre-recording most videos. So this is Elijah, say hi to everybody. 
Um, we're gonna say goodbye, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thumbs up, Elijah, thumbs up. And we will see you guys all next week for the next update. Hopefully I will be down below 190. <gasps> my clothes are fitting loose and my ring's loose. Yes, you guys, this is amazing. Um, shout out to Alan VSG. He's going to be getting his very, very soon. I'm excited to see his surgery. And once again, I'm gonna say goodbye. All right, ciao. God, Elijah, stop burping around me, you stink. Um, anyway, so, so, Amy, and, you see my hot, like I said, you'll see my time. Um, this cat is really trying to get my attention. Um, he wants my attention. And, um, um, he's been sitting here pawing at me. Is that what you want? Um, you want my attention? This is. My, my kitten keeps wanting to come up here. Because, so, um, also mean that, what? Um, um, uh, why do I always go blank? My, um, uh, not right now, maybe at the end. Uh, sons. Oh, excuse me. You're gonna have to excuse the cartoons in the background. My son's watching cartoons. So, um, 